what I've seen down here. What are these? Mountain bikes. Oh, so passe. So, so last year. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to a little vlog. What's this jacket? Well, thanks for asking. I've actually got myself a deer hunter smock and I'm going to be doing a review on this jacket on the channel probably in the next two weeks. I'm actually taking some of the BOTG WhatsApp group members out for a hike tomorrow. First time they've been for one, so I think we'll do a massive one. Now we won't, we'll do a seven miler. Probably won't be filming, it's not fair on them. Uh, but I will be offering some hikes to any of you subscribers if you want to come with me at a later date. Many of you know that Pepper is still broken. I haven't had my van since way before Christmas when I broke down on the motorway. It was juddering. Brrr. And from there, it's been back in the garage. I went to the first garage just before Christmas. Thought they knew what it was, couldn't fix it, so I've had to have it towed to another garage. So I've borrowed this beast off my mate. And this has got 300,000 miles on it. And he's never had any issues with it at all. <laughs> say what you will, say what you will about Citroen. I'm sure there'll be comments talking about it now. It's not the cleanest of the <laughs> vehicles, but it's his work van. One that he bombs around us and does all sorts in big yellow we call it and you may have seen this on the mountain bike channel when we do mountain biking but there's a car coming need to get some new BOTG stickers oh dearie me but anyway I'm gonna go down to uh, go outdoors and you can come with me the reason I'm gonna go to go outdoors is because my hiking boots are in pepper in the van so I've got no way of wearing proper hiking boots so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, probably go in my trail shoes which my feet I suffer from plantar fissicilialis I think they pronounce it I get heel pain when I'm hiking it becomes really really painful especially after seven miles I actually have trouble walking it's really painful so I'm gonna go get some insults down at Great Outdoors and you can come with me exciting times I know I mentioned before the problem I've got with coming to these places is I always end up buying something that I actually don't need. <laughs> I don't need any of this stuff and yet I'm finding myself looking at pots and pans, new ga gas. I'm like a bloody magpie when it comes to shiny stuff. Oh shiny. Yeah, look great in the van. <laughs> no spending. I mean, I've got a massive sale on as well today. No spending boots. We can't afford it. We've got a van to pay for. God knows what it's going to cost me when it gets fixed. Could be ERG valve, could be this, could be that, could be skiddly biddly do for all I care. That's all I care about, Wonga. Oh, it's time for a cup of Yorkshire tea. What you might have noticed in the van as well on my little trips, is you may have noticed me using one of these, which is a pop-up, I can't do this one hand, but it pops up and it pops back, back down again. I got mine off Amazon, it's not the best colour, but I'll tell you what, I didn't pay that price, that's for sure. But I do like the black one, much nicer. Yeah, great. And if you've got a pop-up cup as well, it's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, one of the strange things, actually, before I get into that, look at this here. £3.50, a magnet. Now, these are brilliant. You will have noticed me using these in the van. So that when you put, pull, up, pull up to a car park, you can see how level, of, level it is. I can't speak today. And if it's tipping down, you don't want your head at that end, you want your feet at that end. So brilliant for 350. I use that a lot in the van when I come to park somewhere. But because the old mind is still not going to be 100% letting me sleep very well, I always have this fear that the van's going to roll down the hill. So what I really need at some point is I want to get some of those. So that I can put them under the wheels so that I've got absolutely no subconscious worry that the van's actually going to roll down the hill. Uh, it has stopped me sleeping a couple of times. When I was in the van up in North Yorkshire, I woke up in the middle of the night thinking that the van was going to roll down the hill and over the edge of the cliff. Even though it was in reverse and I had the handbrake on. Just, yeah. That was when I was quite new to van life, although sometimes I still don't sleep that well. But I might get some of those eventually. How much of those? 30 bear. It's not too bad, is it? So this is what I thought I was looking for, but I think I need more of the rubbery, you know, the gel type that actually goes in the heel because my heels, as I mentioned, get so painful when I'm hiking. And these are not, these are quite, quite hard. It's the gel stuff that I actually want. And I don't think they actually sell them here. Um, 
like for example if I take one of these out here I know these are the women's ones but if I open one up you see it looks like that and that's not what I want it's the gel that I want that's just purely on the heel part of it so I don't know what to do whether I should actually get some of these and just try it because I'm not going to have my hiking boots now I'm going to be wearing them and actually some of these are not that cheap the 36 quid I know that, uh, they're no good for us, 40 bar. I don't know what to do, whether to get someone actually go for the maximum high. It's that gel that I really wanted. There you go, let's have a little look around. Maybe they've got them somewhere else, because they're mainly the insoles rather than the uh, the squashy stuff. Right, so the advice I've been given, I've just asked them here, is that they do the rubbery ones, but only on online exclusive. He says that might help you. He says you might have flat feet, you might want to have your feet looked at because it gets to the point where it's really painful and I get to 10 miles plus. But what I might do while I'm here is, is actually get some thicker hiking socks and see whether that'll fill them out. I think it's probably the arch of my foot that's hurting the most. Ugh, but again, nothing's ever cheap, is it? 22 bar for what? One pair of socks. Oh my God, it's just like the mountain bike industry all over again. Big bumps. So this is kind of the boot that I've actually got when we go out like in, but I've got the GX4, which I think is the updated version. Now the reason that I like Solomon is because it's what the military use, or the American military use these boots. So you can't really go much, you can't get a better review than that, can you? They've got great ankle support, they're really, really solid on the foot, and I absolutely love these boots. As I said, these are not quite the ones that I've got, but Solomon is a great brand when it comes to hiking boots, so yeah. Highly, highly recommended. There you go. That's the boot that we've got. And I paid a little bit more than that. So as I said, they are a different version. Look what I've seen down here. What are these? Mountain bikes. Oh, so passe. So, so last year. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done mountain biking for a long time, but I will be doing some more on the channel. We will be doing some more on the channel at some point they've got some bikes in here not not the best selection but yeah mountain mountain biking it's not, sorry i just fell asleep <laughs> 890 bags goes on top of your car I don't know what I think about them. I've actually been looking on the, uh, I've reached out to somebody to say, can I do a review on one of your tree hammocks? It uses three lines to go through three trees and then you can stay out in the woods above the floor line or the tree line. You can go up as high as you want, as long as you've got the support from the trees. No response, but I have had a response from Bluefin who said they would I like to review some of their kit. So maybe, just maybe, I know paddleboarding is not very popular on the channel, but I enjoy it. That's all that matters. You can't go really go wrong, can you, for 35 bar? Look at that was 150 members price 35 quid I mean, it's not good for unless there's a couple of you going out and doing a wild camp but it's a little bit high profile that's not a bad one 18 quid again the color and everything is just going to give you position away but now this is very much like the one that i actually went to Esgoth falls when i went to wild camping on my own but it certainly wasn't as big as this uh 80 quid and the problem, as I was trying to say on the other tent, is that you tend to get a little bit claustrophobic. This one's a little bit bigger, because I call it a coffin tent. If it's raining, you can't actually get in, change your clothing and everything. You have to get changed on the outside. But when it comes to the low profile for wild camping, if you want to be stealthy, these tents are really, really good. You could even put a tarp over the top of that. Um, yeah, it's quite good. And obviously, it's not going to be a huge amount for you to pack up, whether you want to go on an adventure. So these tents have got the places, but that one's a little bit bigger than one, what I would probably want to do if I was being sneaky beaky. I really want to find if they've got any tarps here. I've ordered a cheap one off that crappy, is it Temu? We shall see. 14 bar. I thought I'd get it for a laugh just to review it here on the channel, because I have trouble sleeping anyway. I'm trying to sleep in a 14 quid Chinese tarp. Yeah, we'll see. We're not at that age where we're ready for that crap just yet. Nah, not yet. 
you may have seen on the channel that these are the trousers that I wear quite a lot it's the Montin uh, hiking trousers but what I can tell you is at that price these trousers are not how they used to make them the ones that I've got are actually really thick these are super super thin now so definitely not how they used to make them so yeah there you go Montaigne terra pants Andy I thought you said you weren't gonna buy anything it's like a smack head in a crack den you can't help yourself can you you can't what you bought that for I've got no idea I've got absolutely no idea you know what it's like when you're at the till they get you every time with things you think oh that's gonna be it's gonna be tactical it's gonna be cool it's gonna be great for the van gear line there we go I was thinking I could put that from seat to seat in the back of the van 20 bar for a bit of rope and a few little hooks man must be mad Anyway, not the most exciting of content today, but I just thought I'd put a little vlog out. I enjoy making these videos, gives you a little insight to what I do on a weekend, if I'm not out on the van. I'm so lost without Pepper. I know I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Steve for lending me this van, but I just really want my van back. I love I love enjoy I, I enjoy I love enjoying being in the van, being away, getting away on a weekend, doing hikes. And, and just that whole van life, outdoors, hiking, mountain biking, pedal boarding. I just love the lifestyle and I, I just cannot get enough of it as I've got older and I wish I could find a job in that industry. Maybe one day if even half of my subscribers all just gave me one pound, I could leave work and do it full time. That would be amazing. You've got to have a dream, how you're going to have a dream come true. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm the BOTG. Life's an adventure. I shall see you in some more vlog videos coming real soon. Some hikes and pedal boarding and blah, 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 blah. You know the score. See you in another video coming real soon. Bye-bye.